flaking off. This one seems to be a little bit more sticky. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I will be doing the battle of the primers. So I'm gonna be talking about and using the Milk Hydro Makeup Grip Primer on one side. This is the high end and the Heart Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer on the other side. So this is the drugstore version and this is supposed to be a dupe for the milk. Everybody knows about it but I want to try it on my face. I have dry skin so I want to see how it goes on my face with my favorite products on top. So let's get started. So if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. That will mean the world to me. Now let's get into it. So first of all the Heart Candy one. This is a Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer and this is a drugstore product and it's $7.98. And the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, this is a high-end primer and this, you buy it at Sephora for $40. The Heart Candy has one ounce and the Milk one is 1.52 ounces. So here they are. Huh? The hard candy, it helps plump your skin. It helps diminish your appearance of fine lines. This is formulated with hyaluronic acid, which I love to have that in any of my face products and also with agave, which helps to moisturize your skin and grip your makeup on your skin. So this is a hydrating, plumping primer that helps diminish your fine lines, and we will put it to the test. Now for the milk one, now this is good for normal to dry skin, which is good because I do have dry skin. This helps hydrate and smooth your skin while providing antioxidant benefit. Now this one has blue agave extra, which helps to like smooth and hydrate your skin. So very similar to this one. Now on top of it, this one has aloe vera and again hyaluronic acid, which helps to soothe and smooth and hydrate your skin. On top of all those, this one has vitamin B3 and B5, which this one doesn't, which basically that nourishes your skin for a more healthier looking base. So now that we kind of know the differences between these two, let's put them to the test. So on my right side, I will be using the hard candy one and on my left side, the milk makeup one. So let's start with the hard candy one. So you can see that it has a very green jelly-like consistency, which seems pretty similar to here. So let's put this all over the face on the right side. It seems right away, I feel it very hydrating on the face. I'm gonna add a little bit here more very hydrating on the face put the side of the nose and it is drying up to be very tacky and sticky as you can see so this is the face with the hard candy primer and now let's go in and add this so i'm going to clean my i'm going to clean my hand from the hard candy one and this comes with a pump right here. So again, this is a very jelly-like thick consistency. This is more of a light green color, very similar to the hard candy one. This has a funky smell, but I don't mind. The hard candy one has absolutely no fragrance. Again, I feel exactly the same. I feel very hydrated when I apply this. And let's see when it dries up. It's very similar, very sticky to this one. So far, I cannot tell the difference. What I notice is maybe with this one, it's more glowy than this side. This one seems to be a little bit more sticky than this one. So when I move my face, I feel the stickiness. When, when I touch it, same. This is not as sticky as this one. So for my foundation, I've been testing this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation and this is in the shade 2.5N Natural Almond. This is what it looks like and I definitely recommend this. I have a review on my channel 
on this foundation so this is what it looks like now let's apply this all over the face and see if we see any difference with the primers that we have underneath so i'm gonna go in first with my rare beauty foundation brush switch it up from my mora brushes so the base really gives this foundation a very nice application so far on both sides look at this this is so beautiful now i'm gonna go with a dampened sponge okay so so far applying the foundation i don't see any flakiness on either side oh i actually see here look at this on the nose so i'm gonna zoom you guys in so this is the milk side and you can see the nose the application it's kind of flaking off hmm not on this side this side i don't see anything so that's very strange okay now let's use kind of the sponge and push everything in there's nothing we can do yeah so automatically here i can see the dryness around my nose a little bit of flakiness on my nose you can see here on my above my lip so it seems like the product is not sticking very well to the primer so so far i'm liking the hard candy one more than the milk one that's very interesting and this is a foundation i've been wearing every day with all other kinds of primers and i don't have any flakiness with it whatsoever now that the foundation is applied let's go in with a bronzer so i'm gonna use one of my favorites the charlotte tilbury bronzer and this is the number two so i'm gonna apply it with a mora brush this is the powder brush but i'm gonna use it for bronzing Okay, so if you guys see any type of darkness around my hairline, it's I just dyed my hair yesterday. So yeah, that's what that is. Okay, so now we tested this products with a powder on top of the foundation. So far, I don't see any cakiness and nothing on both sides. So the powder has applied very nice, which is this bronzer. Oh, I forgot to add concealer. So let's add some concealer and I'm gonna go with the Rare Beauty Concealer. This is a very nice concealer and see how this applies. It's gonna be very interesting. So I like to apply only a little bit like this. Not too much under the eye area. Hopefully this is not gonna lift the foundation. There's on one side and this is the other side, the Milk Makeup one. So I'm gonna apply the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder in the shade one, Fair. So I'm just gonna add this. I'm gonna use a Mora brush and I'm gonna just dab it underneath the eye to set the eye because I wanna see how these primers actually work together with cream products, prod like powder products. See which one flakes, which one doesn't. So after applying this, it seems a little bit more flawless. I don't see any cakiness. I'm gonna go into the Liquid Glow Highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Perla. So let's see how these primers work with a cream highlighter. Ooh. So I'm gonna just get a little bit and put on my face and I'm gonna use the Mora Glow Brush and kind of melt it into the skin. Love this one. This is my favorite highlighter so far. Too much. So we put a little bit on the nose. Cupid's bow. So far so good. I don't see the product being picked up or moved around. Only seems to be the nose for some reason. So what I've noticed is that with the milk makeup side, if your sponge is a little bit damp, well, which is supposed to be damp, but if it's a little bit too damp, it seems to move the product around. So you wanna make sure that this is not as damp and make sure that you squeeze all the water out. So maybe that's why, but I didn't notice that on this side when I applied foundation, which is very strange, but so far everything looks 
very good that's done now i'm gonna go in with the rare beauty and this is a liquid blush in the shade joy so we're gonna apply this and see how it goes so we have powders and creams with both of these products so i'm gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand little by little because this is very pigmented so i'm gonna go with a real techniques brush and this is the expert face brush i like to use this for my liquid blushes this is very pigmented as you can see so i'm just gonna put the product on both sides and then kind of blend it in so you see that i'm being pretty rough on the face because i want to make sure that this primer really works so it looks pretty good I don't see any movement of anything on my face so it looks very good with the highlighter with the blush and with the bronzer only thing I didn't like was when I applied the foundation it seems this side seems a little bit smoother under this area here when this side seems a little bit like the foundation moved when we used the sponge so something to keep in mind but you know what so it looks wonderful on both sides i really love it so this is kind of the final look with everything i'll give you my final thoughts in a minute but we're gonna apply some lipstick so for lipstick i'm gonna use the heart candy it's a coconut rose tinted lip balm looks like this this is very hydrating i really love this coconut lip balm by heart and candy now i'm gonna go in with the maybelline and this is the lifter maybelline hyaluronic acid and it's the clear one as you can see so it's in the shade pearl just like my highlighter perla the dofu applicator i'm just gonna give it more shine again i love hyaluronic acid in my products so here's my final thoughts where is my milk product here it is okay on my left side i have the milk hydro grip primer and on my right side i have the heart candy hydrating primer which is a dupe for the milk one now these two are supposed to be very good for dry normal to dry skin i don't know how it works on oily skin so i can say that but i have normal to dry skin mostly dry skin now what i can tell i'm gonna zoom you guys in so I've used both, both products with a foundation that I really like and on top I've used powder products and cream products so that you guys can see how both of these primers work with both consistencies. Now on my right side it seems this one seemed a little bit more glowy when I applied the primer. This one seemed like it dried up a bit so maybe that's why but this one seems flawless. As you can see I don't see any cakiness around the eyes, around the mouth obviously the face looks great on both sides but when i go to the milk side it started to kind of flake off here it caked up a little bit around my nose and on my lip upper lip here it seemed very dry i don't know if you guys can see but i have a little bit of dry patches i tried to fix it and i with my uh, brush and sponge and the dry patches are still there on this side i don't see any dry patches at all now i'm not saying that this is a bad product i love this product and i'm gonna use it a lot because this is not really not a big deal on my face maybe next time my sponge has to be a little bit not as wet when i'll try it that way so i'm gonna give it more tries now with this heart candy this is very affordable from the drugstore so i definitely recommend this one this is 40 dollars from sephora i recommend it but like i said keep in mind that it seems to dry up your skin a little bit more so this one seems to hydrate your skin a little bit and this one i've noticed some dry patches so that's the only thing but if you see it overall i think both products performed really nice it gave me a very nice flawless canvas look i think that the skin looks wonderful on both sides with the exception of those dry patches but it's nothing really huge it's just like if you really want to look into everything 
comparing both, that's the only thing that I've noticed. I'm drawing this here and here, but other than that, everything looks wonderful. So yeah, it's so it's up to you. This is re a review so you guys can make your own decision. Now make sure you comment down below and let me know what is your most favorite primer you like to use with your foundation, your creams, your powders, which one works best for you. I would love to hear your thoughts. So I hope this was helpful. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Love you guys, bye.